Hello, parents and guardians. I hope all is well. Um, I wanted to begin this week's update a little bit differently. wanted to show you this picture in case you haven't had the chance to look at it. This is perhaps one of my favorite pictures I've ever taken or was ever taken of me in the classroom. It shows uh, the students from Core 1 during our breakout activity. Um, basically what the breakout activity was, um, there was two boxes, this one and this one right here, um, each with locks on it. And there was clues, you can see some of the clues right here. Um, there were clues that the students had to figure out to break into those boxes. So one lock was a three-digit code, another lock was a four-digit code, one lock was actually a, a word that they had to figure out by reading a passage. Um, and students only had 45 minutes to do this. Um, this class, Core 1, solved it in 44 minutes. So down to the last minute, and they did have two hints that they could use from me. Um, core 2 completed it in 43 minutes and 15 seconds. So they were also within within the last two minutes, and they used both of their hands, but which which is okay. Um, and and I think this picture right here captures truly what um, what I hope that the students are feeling every single day in my classroom. Uh, you can see celebration, you can see smiles, you can see excited, engaged students. What you don't see on the outskirts is the other students who are still trying to solve the code. Um, but these students right here put in a, a code that they all figured out together. And um, their prize for breaking into these two boxes is a pizza party. Um, we will have that on the Tuesday before winter break. Um, so not this Tuesday, but the next Tuesday. And so Ms. Cook and I are requesting some help for that. Um, we want to give each student um, at least two slices of pizza. Um, and, and as you know, that might run uh, pretty expensive. And some other snacks. Um, so if you are willing to help us, please let me know. Um, and I will send out a letter later on in the week also to see if you are able to help us. Um, the students have been doing an awesome job this semester. And we just want to celebrate their success. And now for the information for this week. Um, for wind time, we will be following our schedule of Genius Hour on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. This week, students are going to be um, making their speech for their uh, Genius Hour presentation. Some of them have already started on their presentation. Some of them haven't. They've been busy working on what their project is going to be about and all the details. So this week, we're going to start writing our Little Reds talk. On Wednesday, we will have clubs as always. For ELA, we did not get a chance to finish our stations from last week. So Core 1 will be in stations on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. On Thursday, we'll review text structures and informational text. And then on Friday, we'll go to the Media Center and do a quiz on text structures and informational text. Core 2 only has to do um, stations on Monday and Tuesday. On Wednesday, I'm going to give them this time to finish any pending uh, ELA work. Um, I have a lot of missing grades from absences or, um, or when students have missed quizzes. So we're going to be working on that on Wednesday. Thursday, we're going to be reviewing text structures and informational text. Uh, so on Friday, we can take that quiz and also go to the Media Center. In social studies, we're going to be reviewing ancient Phoenicia. Uh, last week, we were in the Media Center doing stations on Phoenicia. This week, on Monday, we're going to review what they did in their stations. And then this week, we're going to begin um, the rise of Judaism. So we're going to study where it began, who were the founders, what a monotheistic religion is. We've been studying a lot about polytheism, and now we're going to switch over to monotheism. Uh, on Wednesday, we're going to be comparing and contrasting the uh, Philistines and the Phoenicians. On Thursday, we um, I need to get confirmation. It's either going to be, uh, these two days are going to be switched, or they're going to be as is. On Thursday, we'll have a guest speaker, Miss Pack, which is one of our assistant principals. She is um, Jewish. So she's going to come to 
the class to talk about um, the teachings of Judaism and how it was like growing up in the Jewish faith. Um, and then on Friday, we are going to st uh, study the Jewish law. Keep in mind that um, religions are part of the social studies curriculum this year. We are only studying it from a historical point of view. Um, so, for example, this Jewish law, um, we're not teaching, it's not, it's not a Sunday school class. We're, we're basically teaching how the law of the Jewish people affected um, civilizations. So, by no means am I uh, promoting Judaism or any other religion. It is just part of our um, curriculum and it will be tested. For after school this week, um, the chorus concert is going to be on Monday from 7 to 8. Um, for those of for those students that are in course with Miss Miles, I have gold team meetings on um, Wednesday at 3 p.m. and then there will be a school winter dance on Friday from 3 to 5. Tickets will be on sale all week during lunch for five dollars. Um, on Friday we also have a dress out of uniform day fundraiser, one dollar, and that will go towards sixth grade. Um, to help us out with our future field trips or with any supplies that we may need. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me via email or class dojo or to um, to send me an, uh, or to give me a call, excuse me. You may notice that I have put in a lot of grades in power school this weekend. I have not graded the quiz revisions. I wanted to go ahead and get all the homework and readers' responses. And I'm not quite finished with it yet, but um, if you are still seeing low quiz grades, um, please give me a little bit more time to um, regrade those. Those take a little bit more time because I actually I have to go back to um, to the original quiz and and make sure that the students do um, answer it correctly um, the second try. So please be patient with me. Um, again, any questions? Please contact me. Thank you.